Today, I'm going to do something completely original. Yeah, I'm talking about the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer. Uh, before I do that, why don't you enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Giveaway through the Gleam.io link down in the description. It's absolutely free to enter. It is that collector's edition that came out in November of 2018. And hey, why don't you drop a like on this video as well and see if we can get it to 150 likes. <laughs> Now look, everyone and their mother is talking about that Sonic the Hedgehog trailer today. It has been uh, anticipated in one form or another, both to see how bad the trailer was going to be or to see if it's not as bad as people felt it was going to be. Now the trailer was shown behind closed doors about a month ago, and even the reaction then seemed pretty mixed. It was basically, Sonic looks bad, Jim Carrey as Robotnik looks good. And that still seems to be the general consensus coming out now that the trailer is public. Everyone thinks that Sonic looks bad, but, you know, Jim Carrey looks good. Or at least Jim Carrey in the trailer comes off as classic 90s Jim Carrey, which we haven't actually seen in a while. So it's nice to have 90s Jim Carrey come back uh, in a character that seems to be well-written for his persona. Now... Uh, the big thing is, is the opinions on this trailer are pretty split. You have those people that obviously hate it, think it ruined their childhood. You know, people like Spawn Wave and Bob Wolf have both chimed up to be like, hey, look, uh, it's terrible, it's ruining my childhood, this is not what they should have done. Sonic's not realistic enough, so they, they should have been cartoon, it just looks all silly and dumb and the story's bad and blah, 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 blah. Um, then you have others out there like Dreamcast Guy or Arlo even, who are kind of like, hey, look, um... I think they know exactly what they're doing, and it's brilliant, and it's going to be awesome. So here's my take. I actually like the trailer, and I kind of side with the latter half of what I brought up in Dreamcast Guy and Arlo. Uh, I think they know exactly what they are doing. I think they know that this is a meme-tastic video. They are playing into the memes. You have Gotta Go Fast in there, which is already a meme. So they have that in there. They have, you know, Take Us to the Genesis, you know, in, in, in there as a, as a saying to kind of call back to the Sega Genesis uh, master system for some other people. And uh, they're just kind of playing into the cringe. They are trying to make Sonic extremely cringeworthy. I mean, at one point, you know, he looks at his wrist where he doesn't have a watch and says he took 9 million steps. And this is in the middle of Jim Carrey's Dr. Robotnik shooting a bunch of missiles at him and uh, them coming to a standstill, which some people felt confused by. But this also infers that how Sonic's speed works isn't necessarily just his legs. Maybe his speed kind of works like The Flash, because we've seen in The Flash TV show and in the comics his ability to kind of stand there and move so fast that it, that to him he feels like he's standing still, but to everyone out there it looks like he's not even there uh, and that time kind of stands still and they can go around and destroy all the, all the missiles and all that jazz. Uh, that at least seems to be what they're inferring how his speed works. It's not necessarily just when he runs. He can just call upon his speed whenever he needs it. Uh, it's a very interesting trailer to me in some cases because I don't actually mind the story. The story feels very unique, and that's the way I always felt video game films need to approach video game adaptions is don't try to tell a story that's already been told in video game form. Give us something unique. And the way that this story seems to be working out is that Sonic the Hedgehog is some interdimensional alien being. Um, they don't really explain it too much in this initial trailer. Maybe we'll find out more in future trailers. Otherwise, we can wait to watch the, the movie. I believe it comes out in November. Uh, but basically, Sonic's not from this planet, but he's here on Earth to save it. At least Sonic says that at some point in the trailer. I'm here to save the Earth. I will save the Earth from what? I don't know. Because Dr. Robotnik is not actually the initial bad guy that Sonic was here for. Uh, Dr. Robotnik is actually called on by the U.S. government, or... I really shouldn't say the U.S., maybe it's the U.N., some government agency anyways, hires Dr. Robotnik to try to stop Sonic. And the reason they want to stop him is because his speed uh, creates a lot of electricity, and that electrical pulse that happens when he hits his max speed is knocking out power um, in huge chunks of the United States. And because of that, uh, they want to put a stop to it before he knocks out the entire world's power grid, which is understandable, obviously. There's something going on they don't understand. The government generally wants to bottle that up and figure it out. And so they hire Dr. Robotnik, who obviously is... Uh, Doctor of Robotics, basically, uh, to try to capture and figure out all this stuff. 
And over the course of the movie, he obviously goes from trying to capture and blah, blah, blah to trying to kill Sonic. And then uh, it, there's an end scene uh, towards the end where he finally starts to look like Dr. Eggman, which, again, you know, Dr. Robot and Dr. Eggman, they basically, they're basically the same characters. So uh, you could definitely see that he basically gets more and more, I don't know if, I don't know if the word crazy is right, but uh, gets more and more like the character that we all know and love uh, from the Sonic series uh, by the end of the movie. And maybe that is going to be a set up for a, a second movie or what have you or a final showdown uh but yeah sonic himself obviously the animation i the animations i think are okay uh obviously the look of sonic's going to be a love or hate i actually kind of like it in a strange way because in telling a unique story and having a very unique dr robotnik in jim carrey who, by the way looks as silly and acts as silly as you would think and as high as my i mean this is jim carrey you know basically performing at his best and i love it they tailored this role specifically for jim carrey uh but i honestly don't mind uh the way that sonic looks or how he runs or anything else that people are, i've been taking issue with. i realize his face looks funny at times the animations are good at times look bad at times um, honestly, I think this entire movie is built for memes. I think they are buying into internet culture with this video. They knew that no matter what they did, a Sonic the Hedgehog uh, movie probably would not be well received. So instead of trying to make this super high production, um, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars sunk into uh, trying to make this bioptic epic like a Game of Thrones or, a, you know, just some sort of massive um, scale movie you know, they decided, hey, look, we're not going to go that Detective Pikachu route. Um, that's very hard for us to pull off with a character that has already had its ups and downs as a franchise. We're just going to buy into the fact that everyone likes to meme Sonic, and we're going to lean into those memes hardcore. And I honestly think this is one of those movies that is going to become one of those cult classics. I think it's actually going to perform well at the box office, be very low-reviewed on Rotten Tomato, uh, be very low-reviewed basically everywhere, but there's going to be this big um, collection, you know, maybe millions of people who actually love how cringy this movie is. If you love cringe, this is going to be like the perfect video game movie for you. If you're like a Sonic fan and you love the Sonic memes and the Sonic cringe and the gotta go fast, like the hot, the, the chili dogs, I'm sure there'll be a joke about chili dogs in there at some point. Like there's going to be a lot of cringe in here along with some nice humor from Jim Carrey. And I think it's going to be a nice melding of the movie owning what it is. It knows that it's a bad movie. I think that's the, the, the thing here. A bad movie that knows it's a bad movie are generally the best bad movies. That's, that's the way I view it. And that's kind of why I like this. In fact, I don't even know that it's going to be a bad movie for me. But I, I think in general, it's going to be a bad movie that knows it's a bad movie, owns it's a bad movie, and has a lot of fun with the fact it's a bad movie. And ultimately, in the end, Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie, is going to just end up being a lot of fun. And that, to me, is what makes a bad movie enjoyable. It makes it have a cult following. It makes people like me love it. Is It knows it's bad. And it owns that it's bad, and it has fun that it's bad. It makes fun of itself, and creates memes out of itself. And I think that is brilliant. And I think that is a good a good choice for this particular type of movie. I don't think this would work as well with a Mario movie. You know, obviously some people talk about the memes that maybe came out of the original Mario Brothers movie. And I actually like that Mario Brothers movie. But uh, that movie tried to take itself seriously. And uh, that was maybe its downfall, is that it didn't own how silly the entire idea is. This movie seems to be owning its silliness, owning its zin, owning the fact that this Sonic doesn't look like any Sonic we've ever seen before. Um, heck, the rings, instead of them being like these things you collect that like lets them take more damage, it, they now are like teleportations, so, like the gold rings let you teleport all over the world, all over the universe. That's how we got to Earth. Uh, crazy stuff going on here. Lots of crazy, interesting, unique ideas, and that's why I like it. Um, you're, you know, feel free to disagree. You can obviously head down to the comment section and and, and and you know clack away and let me know how terrible this is. And I'm not going to blame you for thinking that this trailer is an abomination and has ruined your childhood. I can't blame you for feeling the way that Spawn Wave and and Wolf Den and many others, you know, many millions of others probably out there feel. Uh, but I'm kind of on that other side of the coin where I think it's kind of clever. I think it's kind of unique because we don't get a lot of movies that own their cringe as much as this one seems to be owning it. And I honestly think I'm going to end up really enjoying this movie. Um, is, am I going to end up thinking it's a better movie than Detective Pikachu? Probably not overall because I think Detective Pikachu... Um, 
is just more cleverly written. And um, while it breaks away from the source material of Detective Pikachu, it still stays uh, fairly true to that source material in some ways. If you know anything about the story of Detective Pikachu at 3DS, it's not the same story they're telling in the movie. But uh, there are some similarities and how the world is built and, and all that stuff. And Ryan Reynolds, I think, obviously uh, brings a little clout to it, just like Jim Carrey does to this film. Um, and I think Detective Pikachu is a more serious take with comedy mixed in that is going to end up uh, coming together much better than this does if it tried to do a similar style. So this movie says, screw it, we're not going to try to be Detective Pikachu and be super serious. We're going to be silly, we're going to be zany, we're going to be meme-tastic, we're going to have crazy battle sequences that make absolutely no sense, and uh, we're going to own it, and we're going to have a lot of corny, cheesy lines that people are going to be memeing forever, uh, that they're going to want Sonic to be gift to hell or gift to hell. Uh, it, it's going to be crazy, it's going to be fun, and I think it's going to be a wild ride, and I think this is exactly what this Sonic movie should be, and it is what they are trying to make it be. I am very thankful they didn't try to make a serious Sonic movie, because honestly, how many attempts at serious video game adaptions do we need to see fail uh, especially when it comes to bringing it to the real world before we realize that maybe that's not a very good direction for those kind of movies obviously we know Detective Pikachu might be trying to buck the trend but you know what we still don't know what Detective Pikachu actually delivers having some good looking trailers is not the same as the movie delivers so we'll have to wait and see if that movie delivers as well but for right now uh detective pikachu is probably a better movie but i think uh that this sonic the hedgehog movie is its own type of unique comedic movie it's definitely a comedy uh and i'm, I'm loving it man like give me more i already want another trailer like just keep dropping the trailers i'm gonna go to this movie probably two or three times because it just i was laughing throughout the entire trailer and not just like laughing at how dumb it looks sometimes just laughing in general and oh my god this movie knows what it is it's a bad movie that knows it's bad and this is awesome and i love it so you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below i am nathaniel rubble jance from the tunnel prime be sure to enter that giveaway i mentioned earlier if you're curious what that is look at the gleam island down in the description subscribe for more content because hey we make lots of videos every single day and i will catch each and every single one of you in the next video and my last message i know it failed last time but um Hey, Milwaukee Bucks, can you please win a game against the Boston Celtics, please? Like, defend your home court. Come on. Don't get blown out again. Come on, Bucks. I don't want to be doing this next week and being like, farewell. I want to be like, no, I'm skinning my Switch in a Milwaukee Bucks-themed skin because we won the title. I mean, a guy can dream, right? All right. I'll catch you guys in the next video.